Hey guys, the Creamery here. Welcome to Florals Part 2, where we take a deeper, uh, more in-depth look at some different ways to make some florals. The first thing we're going to do is prep our icing. So what I've done is I've taken some pink and I've made a dark pink. And um, I'm going to just take my spatula and spread it around the bag kind of on the outside part of the bag just spreading it in kind of down and into the bag then i'm going to take a lighter version um where basically i've just added white and we're going to end up with three icing colors here i'm adding white to each one and then i'm adding it to the bag and filling it so here i'm going to take tip 125 Wilton tip 125 it's one of my favorite tips it's huge and I love the way the petals come out so you're basically this is the easiest thing you're gonna do you're just gonna set that fat end of that tip 105 towards the middle of your cookie and which I already have piped I flooded a little circle there and you're basically just gonna push out a little rainbow and you're going to let the tip do its work for you and you're going to allow that short end that thin end of the top of the tip to really flare out and make that petal then I'm taking a little bit of purple and this is a toothpaste kind of a little bit thinner than a toothpaste consistency and I'm just going and um, I'm kind of flooding through it. I'm jiggling the icing as the icing bag as it kind of comes out so that it lays a little bit flatter. Um, and then I'm just kind of pulling up against the petal. Then I'm going to take my scribe and I'm going to flare it out. Um, and I'm going to flood it a little bit use it just to kind of spread it around because I really want a more of a flooded effect and then I'm going to take it and I'm going to flare it out up onto the petal itself just to kind of give a different type of look give that spider web kind of look to it again you're just going to go around the cookie go around and flare that out as you can see with those petals it's a nice thick frosting you can take your scribe you can fix the petals a little bit if you think you've kind of gone out too far or there's an edge that is sticking out I really like to dig into the petal with this type of look just because it kind of makes it look not necessarily um, it just makes it look like part of the petal and you just keep going around and around playing with it and really you guys florals is all about what you want it to look like remember no flower really looks the same so you just kind of play and playing is the most fun part of doing florals is just kind of getting to know the way the tips work and the way things look together and different ways that you can make um, the middle of the flower sometimes I'll even go out to my backyard and just kind of stare at flowers <laughs> now it's hard to see in this picture but or in this video but the the different variations of the icing um, from the three different colors but it's there and it actually really makes it look like a real flower by having those variations of icing in your bag now you also might be able to tell that the icing that I'm using for this flower isn't the one that I actually put in the bag that was for something else that I was doing. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to work on another one. This is actually tip 104. And so it's a smaller tip. And the icing's the exact same type of thing. There's three different colors all put into the piping bag. And we're doing the exact same movement. We're going up and a little rainbow and we're pulling down. And you don't need to worry about coming to the center on this one because we're doing two layers. So again, on the second layer, you're gonna go, let the petal do its work for you. The big fat end towards the bottom, the thin end towards the top, kind of pointing away from you. And you're really flaring that out, making a rainbow shape. But also when you're coming into those other, those 
the middle, the center and the, the center layers, I'm starting in and really kind of pushing the petals into the crevices so that you're not getting any holes in your flower. I take my scribe and I fix any petals that need to be fixed and then I'm going to take that purple again. This time I'm going to, instead of jiggling it um, to flood it, I'm actually wanting to pull straight up so that not too much icing gets on the bottom there because I want to start I'm going to start on this edge and I'm going to flare it out itself. I'm not going to use the scribe this time to flare it out. I'm just using the piping bag itself to give a thicker, not so much of a spiderweb look, but just a thicker semen look to it. And I'm going to keep going around and around until I'm done. And then I'm just going to do a couple little dots um, around the middle just to kind of fill in that center. I'm going to leave a little bit of that gold showing, but not too much. And here I'm just dotting again. I'm just dotting around. And there we go. And you can really see the color variations in those petals in this one. Now I'm going to take my leaf bag. This is tip 352, Wilton tip. And I've done the same thing with the leaf. I've gone ahead and I've Combine three different colors and you just really let the tip do the job for you now we're going to go back and play with 125 again and we're going to do the same thing we did with the smaller cookie we're just going to have one um, this one layer kind of going down we're going to do a second layer here in a second but we're going to do we're going to have this bottom layer meet the middle I was having a problem with my tip because I didn't cut the top of the bag enough, so I'm gonna, I'll fix that here in a second, but basically you do the same thing. I'm doing a w much wider rainbow on the outside petal this time than I did on the other one because I have a lot more surface to cover, but then on this inner layer, I'm doing very small strokes and I have that tip pointed at a 45 degree angle. Again, I'm gonna take that purple and I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna pull up. Pull up onto the petal itself. Not really leaving too much on the gold at this point. I'm just using it to put it on the petal. Going around the entire thing, making sure to fill it in. And I'm doing different sizes because you'll always notice on a flower that they're not all the same size. They're gonna be different sizes. Some are long, some are short. And I'm just doing whatever looks good, just kind of playing with it. I'll go around a few times, fill things in, and then it'll be time for the leaves again. And again, that fat side up, and you can jiggle it, you can just push it out and let it fall where it's going to. I do a bunch of different things and just kind of fill it into what looks natural. Again, back to tip 104 with the blue. This time we're doing something a little bit different. I love this look. We're just gonna go ahead and jiggle. Instead of letting it flare out, we're jiggling it around, giving that really pretty ruffle look to it. And again, the fat end is toward the middle, the thin end is toward, and every layer that you go in, so as you see the first layer, I'm pretty much staying straight down. The second layer, I'm going now at a, a, a steeper angle, and I'm really trying to fill in those crevices as I'm going around, but doing the same action. Now again, even more of an angle coming up, letting that petal fall around and I'm almost doing like um, a complete up and down not really 90 degree but you can see it more there now I'm going to do like almost like a little rose in the center just kind of pull it around always make that first so that I know where my middle needs to go. Then I'm going to just, I'm not going to jiggle this one. I'm just going to let it fall where it goes. 
doing that rainbow effect once again and pulling it in. And then we're going to do the leaves again. Again, letting those fall where they may. That one I'm just pulling straight out, letting the tip do its thing, and then the other one I jiggled. Okay, back to tip 125. So we're going to do the, the layered look here. And I'm jiggling just a little bit on this one. I'm not doing as much jiggle as I did on the 104 on the last cookie. Using this nice big tip, jiggling just a little bit and moving it around. Really kind of getting just my own little idea of how I like um, it to look. Letting that tip do its job for me. Going into those crevices as you can see. and pulling it around. Same type of thing. Do my little tip on the top. Pull it around. And then the same exact thing. Rainbow. 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 So I get all the way around. Last one, rainbow. And I pull that one in towards the center fix it. Leaves. I'm always cleaning off my tips because you don't want it to goop up and it doesn't make a pretty leaf. I just let them fall where, where I, I look at it, see where else do I want one, what looks natural. Okay, on this one, again, we're taking the 125 and I'm just going to do a rose type look. So we're just starting in the middle, doing that wrap around. And then for the center, I'm literally just pulling it up and over it, not really necessarily wanting to flare out that top. Now we're going to do the rainbow. So now that we made that center, I'm literally doing a 90 degree angle letting that turntable kind of help me out and pushing that icing in. Kind of starting three quarters of the way from each petal. I don't really count. I just kind of do what looks natural. Just keep going. Um, but I rainbow each one. Letting it kind of fall into those crevices. As I go out, if I want my rose to flare, which I do at this point, I'm letting that, I'm angling that tip farther and farther out so it looks like it's a more open. You can keep it so it's closed. Um, if you want a more closed up and right flower, but I, I like to make mine flare out. Now I made a mistake on this one and I kept going and I should have stopped there <laughs> but I didn't I had to keep going with more petals because I just love making petals and I and I totally messed up so I I would have not done this petal um, but it still looks it looks okay so then you do leaves just like normal again using those three variant colors you can see on that bag the different colors that are coming through and I actually have a napkin in my hand that I'm using to wipe off the tip okay back we are to again to the 125 just using the circle cutter doing it really quick just going around easy petals you go underneath the previous petal and make your next one I was too lazy to, I'm running out of icing, so <laughs> I'm trying to like, please let me get this last one in, as you can tell. And then making another layer and just doing that last petal, pulling that in. And now I'm going to get a little bead, a little sprinkle, using my tweezers, putting that little, actually it's a nice big fat sprinkle. And we're going to take the 104 and we're going to do pretty much the same thing but with the smaller tip whereas the 125 is nice and big 
You don't need to worry about coming in towards the center on this because we're going to have layers and you're going to fill in those divots, so to speak. So look, I'm going to start and I'm going to go into those there, like that, where you're going to push it in to that crevice. It, it really is very important what consistency your icing is at. Um, if you don't have a thick enough icing, they're going to melt. Your petals are going to melt. And the tops of your petal, is, they are not going to flare uh, like a petal does. So you really want to make sure you have a beautifully thick, fresh icing. Again, we're going to take a little bead. We're going to put it in the... I say bead, but it's a sprinkle. It's edible. Put it in the metal. Back to um, the bigger cutter. And I'm fixing my... I'm going to use the green here, so I'm changing out my tip from the leaf tip to the, 10, um, the 104 tip that I was just using with the blue. And I'm going to create my little center just like I would with my rose and this is going to be more of like a cabbage look so I'm going to do almost like what I would do for a rose but I'm going to keep it straight up and down at first just to do the center and then I'm going to go on the outside like I would for a normal flower and I'm going to go ahead and just let that flare see how I'm not really doing much to it I'm just pushing the icing out and letting the tip do its job and then Again, next layer, coming into that one. I'm doing a little bit of a rainbow just to get the crevices full. And then this one, I'm really, I'm going to let it just push out, starting right behind the other petal. I'm pushing out and just kind of letting it fall where it may. This is my little cabbage, head of cabbage. <laughs> Since I ran out of all my other colors, I was like, yeah, let's do some green. Let's do a cabbage. Why not? And you can see some of that blue in the middle there from the leftover blue icing after I changed the tip. And I'm just adding more leaves because I felt like it would look pretty. And there we have it, you guys. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this time.